everybody, it's me again, Janice. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. Today, I'm going to play with makeup, do a get ready with me. I have done these before and they end up being so long, so I'm, trying, I'm going to try to do a quick one. But I do have some products I want to share with you that I'm enjoying. And I... Yeah, I um, have some products I got in BoxyCharm. I want to try those. So if you would like to play with makeup with me, just keep watching. Okay, I got some primer on already, my skincare. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with Mil Milani Primer. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. So it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Michigan. It's very sunny. It's in the low 50s. Yeah. And the end of February. Gorgeous weather. It is a Sunday afternoon right now. In case you were wondering. Who knows when I'll get this video uploaded, but that's what it is today why I'm filming this. Uh, I I think I finally got over my sickness. It lasted for quite some time. I just got a nagging cough every now and then, but that goes with the territory. I'm gonna move you here. Okay, there, I have my primer. I'm gonna let that set for a minute. On my eyes, that is. And I have it on my face, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first. I've been enjoying this new foundation. It's fairly new. Not brand new, but um, I think what a month or so. But it's the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I am really loving this one. Better than the other one. I like the other one okay, but this one is so much better for me. Because I like a dewy finish. So I'm going to go ahead and slather that on. So, we'll put that on and see how you like it, how it looks on me. I am looking in the viewfinder, so <laughs> I hope I'm blending this out okay. I can't seem to put this down. This is the Tati Blendiful. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying it. I use it for everything, except for eyeshadow. I don't use it for that. I don't think it's intended for that anyway. Duh. <laughs> I say the silliest thing sometimes. I think I'm finally out of my depression. Yeah. Hopefully you see a different side of me that you haven't seen before. I've been in a really deep depression for well over a year and crossing my fingers that it stays away for a while. I, uh, I was, I don't want to go through that again, just don't. I really didn't do anything different than I normally do for it, I, it just went away. I try not to let things get to me, I try to deal with my life a little better helps. And next I'm going to use by ColourPop the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Concealer. I bought this a few weeks ago and I'm loving it. I have the other one but this is the hydrating one. So I love using this underneath my eye area. I bought me a gimbal yesterday at the Apple Store. There in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh my gosh, that's a nice town. First time I've actually been in town and looked around. I want to go back there and do a weekend trip and just go mad and go shopping. It's a cool town. Really liked it. Living in a little small town in rural northern Michigan in the woods. It's nice, peaceful. I love living here. 
but sometimes I miss the hustle bustle of the city. Not that Grand Rapids is a huge city, but you know, it's a lot bigger than here. And guess what? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They are going to be having a full-size safari inside the Woodland Mall there in Grand Rapids. They said, coming soon. I thought, oh my God, oh, I wish it was there. I would've went crazy and I really didn't have the money to because so I'm trying to go on a no buy, low buy. More of a low buy because I'm still buying. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm excited. They do have Ulta across the street from the mall in a strip mall. So that's cool. Now, Grand Rapids is a good two hours away from me, but most everything is of that nature, that far, if not further. Like Detroit area, good three hours. So I don't go there hardly ever, unless there's something particular I want. Like when I got this furniture, the Ikea there, I went there to, for that. I think we're good there. I'm gonna use my Fenty matchsticks. I'm gonna use a little threesome here. We're getting Fenty in our Boxy Charm Premium for the month of March. I was on the fence to cancel. I had canceled and re then stopped, mm, then reactivated it only because I'm not really crazy what they're giving us. And we're all getting the same thing, so it's really not something I can, I can put it on my channel. But by the time I get it, you guys are going to see it anyway. But, I don't know, I'm still on the fence about keeping premium. Just because I have a lot of products already. It's a good value, it really is. I am not knocking what they're giving us. It's just, I have so much, and I... I'm having to find ways to make money to pay for my addiction here, my makeup addiction. I'm going to use, what color is this? I always, I know they had different colors. We are getting one of these actually in our box, the color stick one, the match stick. This one is in Trippin. It's supposed to be the highlighter. But I use it as a blush because of the color. Kind of a um, peachy rose, peachy pink, peachy pink color. I like it a lot. I do like wearing creams because of, I just keep my face nice and hydrated for the day. I, and I like, that's why I use creams. And, they go in nice. I always like using creams. Powders just dry me out. I have very, very dry skin. When I was younger, I had normal skin. Never had oily skin. And that's one thing that makes me upset. Fenty's put in blotting papers. Fenty's put in blotting papers. Yeah. Fenty's putting blotting papers in our BoxyCharm Premium. I have absolutely no use for them. And I think that's a special thing that uh, most, you know, at least 50% of us don't need. I just wish they would have thought of something different. <sighs> to me that was trash. It's trash, okay? I don't like it. But, sorry if I'm offending those who do. I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm just feeling my feeling good today so I'm being sassy <laughs> so don't take it personal now, I do they do have a brightening stick but I should have brought a should have bought a lighter color so I don't use it that much I use it for like touch-ups maybe if I need it as a foundation don't use it much I, that was just I picked the wrong color and I've had it so long it's too late to take it back I do want to get some more. I want to get, that was for medium skin. I want to get it for light skin. I don't need it. So I'm not, I'm not doing that for quite a while. 
maybe by the time the new Sephora opens up, I'll can have a little extra cash maybe to pick it up. I don't know. We'll see. The only reason why I have so much makeup is because I want to start reviewing it on my channel. And I've been collecting it for three years. I've yet to do too many reviews. But by the time I get things, because I don't get PR, it's like old news. So most of the makeup I'm going to review is older news. So if, hopefully, you're still interested. I know I am because a lot of these reviews, I'll go back and, hey, I want to buy this. Let's check out what this person, this person said about it. And they're older reviews, so they come in handy for me. So I'm thinking, well, you know, why not? I'll go ahead and do them. If I get views, I get views. If I don't, then, you know, it is what it is. So what's next, Janice? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love, love, love this. And I know this is old news, but I had to wait till I had a gift certificate to get it. Because this is so expensive. It's the Hourglass um, Ghost Palette for the holidays. I'm sure you've seen it. $80. I don't regret getting this at all. I'm so happy I had um, a gift certificate. Because I couldn't. Oh. Oh my god. I didn't want to pay that much out of my own pocket. Light my cup. My husband got that for me for Christmas. Me and my dog. And my doggies. They're in here with me. A couple of them. <laughs> Sound asleep. Mama fed them lunch and they're, that knocks them out. Okay, add some highlighter first. And that is right here. right here. Oh, right here. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I like a real subtle look. I like to build up. Um, especially since I've been older. Um, no offense, but I don't want no one to say, oh, that old lady looks like a clown. She's got too much makeup on. They say it too. It's me. So I don't want, I just want people to notice me and that, how you look pretty today. I don't really want them to notice my makeup. You know? So that's why I do subtle. I try. Now when I'm on camera, I get washed off by these lights. So to you, it may look really washed out. But in person, it's not. That's one thing that's hard about showing you the real colors, unless I turn off that light, because it doesn't transmit on the camera. But, you know, I'm trying. You hear? And there's two different colors in here. This one and this one. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to use my one I got from BoxyCharm Premium. That's one good thing they gave us last month that I really enjoyed. And that was in the premium box. So the box was worth $35 because, I'll, let alone just getting this. I did an unboxing on that premium, but I have not uploaded it. And now it's just too darn late. I don't know. Time got away from me. I had pre-filmed about six or seven videos and I just, I got st stuck on one that was really hard to edit. I'm still working on it actually. <sighs> you know, and hard for me to sit down and edit because I'd rather be baking or cooking or playing with my dog. So <laughs> I'm trying to be better. This is a very light color. I wish I would have got a little darker, but it it is pretty. It's hard to see it. It's showing up. I like these colors a little better. But you know, BoxyCharm probably gets the leftovers or the items that doesn't sell as well uh, through these companies. I'm assuming not everything, but at least it gives us a chance to use it and see if we like the formula, which I love it. Okay. 
Now next is going to be my eyes. Okay, Jen. today I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. So I'm going to set my eyes with this color here. We go into the green. Just putting it down, no rhyme or reason. Unfortunately, I'm not a makeup artist. I do it in the crease area. The other color I just use more for the transition. Now this eyeshadow I did buy at Sephora a couple months ago. I really like the colors and I want to try the brand. I do have a big palette, the her purple one, Layla, I believe. But um, I've used it. I like it okay, but I wanted to try, I like these colors, okay? And I wanted to buy them. Who am I kidding? I wanted the colors. <laughs> I really enjoy greens. And I like that this was kind of an army green, you know, olive green. And I keep forgetting I have this palette, so I haven't really played with it much. I think I've used it one or twice, once or twice, I don't remember, but not much. It's a shimmery green or metallic green over here. Yeah, this is a metallic. It shows up. Pretty good. Probably better with my fingers. Let's go ahead and do it with my fingers. You, you talked me into it. Not that much better, actually. Because this eye over here with the brush got nice payoff. So that is with the fingers. Well, I think I'll do that gold in the... Let's see, yeah. Go ahead and grab this little brush. It's the GH29. I like this, a little tiny detail brush. And just put in my corners here. I'm liking that. Here you go. I'm gonna use this, I think it's a dark brown. there. Okay, I'm going to finish this eye look off camera because you probably can't see half the stuff I'm doing anyway. And I'll be right back. I'm going to use this eyeliner by Ciate. It's called Stamp and Drag. And on the end of it, it has a wing liner stamp. I've used it before and I really love it. Now this side is a felt. I prefer the brush better, but it works. Um, I did use for my eyeliner today the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Matte that we got in our BoxyCharm Premium. I was going to put it on my eye eyes and then put a shadow over it, but I'm going to have to look how to do that, maybe watch some videos if they could find some. I'm not quite sure how to do that. So anyway, I'm going to do this. So I thought maybe you might want to see this. So we'll try it on camera. 
Now the pointed end goes up and then the, the flat end goes towards this part here. Voila, that easy. I like this stuff. I like it, I like it. All right, now let's see if I can get the other eye. <laughs> there you go. How did that look? Let me see in the, my regular mirror. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I can do wings, but um, this is so much easier. I just bam, bam, done. And I'm not going to add any more liquid eyeliner. Well, I'm not going to add any liquid eyeliner because I did this shadow. Let's see. So, okay, I don't have my lashes on yet. Uh, this is what it looks like so far with eyeliner. Oh, I did my brows. I used the new Fenty brow pencil. And I got it in medium. This is really cute. It's a little brush, isn't that cute? This works really well. I don't need anything fancy for my eyebrows. They're so thick and bushy as it is. I probably do need to pluck them, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I like them thick, actually. So I don't, I don't make them that thin. You know, every now and then I'll thin them out, but not much. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. I did use my Pretty Vulgar mascara that I got on my BoxyCharm. I really like this. It reminds me a lot of the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal or Too Faced. I like it, very nice. And I just put some Remo lipstick on. I forget what color. It's something I got at the drugstore a while back. And I haven't really used it, just thought I'd share some of the products I'm using and trying. And I gotta say that I think the look turned out really pretty. I didn't bother putting lashes on. I usually don't. <laughs> so, okay, there you have it. I know the lips is kind of bright, but I'm just at home doing some housework and I just wanted to use this lips. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I have another video up. I also like this video. Do you like the little get ready with me? Let me know, okay? If you wanna see something a little different, I am trying to change it up. I'm gonna do some makeup reviews. Oh, just to let you know, gosh, I'm, lo I'm losing light here. I love this foundation, the uh, Wet n Wild Dewy. Oh, yes. Com oh, I just said comment, didn't I? Okay. I guess that is it, everyone. You have a very wonderful day, no matter where you are in this world. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye. Bye.